Okay, so in this one, we're going to not only use some of your alignments that we've looked at and smooth these off to the side. We're also going to look at um, some of these alignment features that are happening here. So the first thing is I want to make sure that I align this. Let's see, and how do I make sure I align that? Well, let's get our align palette up. Let's go to um, object and align. So I can select both these items and I want to say align this to the left. Right there we go. So now I know it's 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 aligned because InDesign has told me it is. Right, and we're just going to make sure that that aligns over there. Make sure that's aligned to the right, which it is. And now I'm going to select all this. You can see this is not uniform spacing, but let's make sure that there is. So here we go. We're going to use distribute spacing. There it goes, right? And it aligns it perfectly to that spot. Now, incidentally, you could also say use spacing. And let's say we wanted something a little bit smaller. Just click on that again, and you can see it inserts less spacing. Okay. In this case, we don't want to use spacing. We're just going to have it. Um, we need to reset that. We're going to set it all the way across, and there we go. OK, so that's the Align Palette. So it's nice to be able to align things. So if I had things that were all in different sizes, I select all of it, right? And I can say Align to the top, and I'll align them to the top. So these align features are just really great as far as setting something up. OK, so we're going to set this up in a second. Let's set this right in between here. And I'm going to do insert spacing. And we're going to say 0.25 from the top. Point two five from the bottom, because that's what I want. Do OK. Now we're going to nestle that right up against each other. Mm, let's see. I just want to see something. I don't know if allow me to. Oh. Oh. OK, maybe not. OK, never mind. Um, all right, so we're going to make sure that this hits right up against that. And we're going to do our Command B. And we're going to say, right, we're going to insert the spacing in the top. Let's do that and do OK. And now I have all my pieces. So I'm just copying them, holding Option and Shift, and dragging them across. And there I have um, my setup. So let's say we really wanted to do this. Let's say we're going to use Avenir. And let's say it's all going to be the same. Let's say it's Justify. OK, let's get an image in there. Okay, right, so you can see how this starts to be, um, right, this starts to be now a layout that we can start to use. So I'm going to place all four of these images in here. Huh. Right to that. Let's take these middle two. There we go. Right, so let's take all of this. I'm going to change this to Avenir as well. Right, just showing you that even with really simple setups, huh. okay, we got some odd things that, that are happening over here. Right, let's just go with it. Um, right, and so there's your really simple setup using all the alignments inside of InDesign.